guys welcome back to my channel In today's video we're going to be doing a full face of milk makeup products and a lot of these i have purchased from tj maxx but other ones i have not they have not made it to tj maxx yet but i will mention which ones i got from tj maxx and which ones i didn't some of them are available at tj maxx i just didn't get them because i already purchased them prior to them being at tj maxx but I will let you know where I got each of the products. So if you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get started. So first I'm going to prime my skin with the Hydro Grip Primer. This is the mini size and this I already purchased from Sephora a while ago and this has not made it to TJ Maxx yet. I love how this feels on the skin. It really grips the foundation really nicely. So it is pretty tacky. It dries down quickly, but it doesn't dry completely. It'll still have a sticky feel to it. And my skin is pretty moisturized underneath. I did use a moisturizer this morning. I did not need to put another moisturizer on top. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with foundation. I have actually two different foundations from Milk. I have the Flex Stick Foundation, and then I also have the Matte Foundation. So I'm going to go with the Stick Foundation for now, but maybe I'll try this one out another time. And this is in the shade Golden Nude. So again, I don't even know if this is going to work for me, but let's try it out. Yeah, that might be too dark, but it might match the rest of my body, so we'll see. That did blend out nicely. It's not full coverage, but I don't think I put on that much because I'm kind of afraid of stick foundations. But I might put on a little bit more, but let's finish the first layer first. So it is a tad dark for me, but I'm normally a little bit darker than this since I haven't really been going anywhere. I haven't really been out in the sun. So it should match normally, but right now it's just a little bit too dark. I do like how it looks on the skin. It did blend out nicely and pretty evenly. It of course is not full coverage. You can still see a lot of spots underneath and of course it didn't cover the blemishes, but I am not a huge fan of full coverage foundations in the first place, so I don't have a huge problem with that, but we will see how it wears. I don't know how it is supposed to wear, but I like the feeling of it right now. So we are going to go in with concealer, and I have the Flex Concealer in this tube, and I have the shade Light Sand. So I hope this is a good shade because there were a couple other ones that I could have purchased, and I didn't, so we'll see. Okay, so this might be a little bit too dark, but let's blend it out. So I love that. I don't think it is light enough, <laughs> but oh well. Oh, I haven't even been saying. So this one, the foundation and the concealer I both got at TJ Maxx so maybe I will pick up a lighter shade next time I go but I do like how that looks on the under eye it is not full coverage you can still see my darkness under my eyes I don't know if it is meant to be a full coverage concealer but nothing really covers my under eyes I have tried so many concealers and nothing seems to cover it but I still like how this looks it is not drying or anything it doesn't feel cakey but I do get creasy underneath the eyes, so we will see how this wears. I'm going to set my under eyes just so that sits. And I am using the Milk, oh, duh, Milk Makeup, the Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. And this is the light shade. So I haven't even opened this. So it comes with this little sponge right here, which I will not use. And then it opens up like this and it has a little sifter which I'm not a huge fan of if you can see because it doesn't come out that easily so it gets a little bit too difficult for me but I'm just going to set my under eyes with that and then we will move on. 
like that. It does not set it completely, but I like how it made my under eyes look. It didn't brighten or anything. I will be using that on my whole face as well, but I have other products to use first. For bronzer, I have the bronzer stick, which I have had for a while, and I got this at Sephora. I don't think it is at TJ Maxx yet, at least I have not seen it. So, and I tend to go overboard with these by mistake. So I'm gonna go really light and then add later if need be. Then I'm going to go in with blush and I do have another stick product. This is the Lip and Cheek Stick, and this is in the shade Work, which I did find at TJ Maxx, but I already had it, so I did not purchase it again. But these are so nice. Mine has a little hole in it, if you can see that. So when I start rolling it up, the top is gonna start pushing out. <laughs> I'm just trying to not make that mark on my face. It's still crazy to me that these products are at TJ Maxx. I don't know what is happening. I don't know if it's because of COVID and people are not buying as much products at TJ, at TJ Maxx, at Sephora. So the brands are kind of forced to send everything to TJ Maxx. Who knows, but works for me because you get it like 50% off or possibly more. So I'm not complaining. And then we have a stick product. This is the highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Lit and I did get this at T. Well, no, I did not get this at TJ Maxx, but this is at TJ Maxx. Oh wait, no, I did. I did buy the full size. I'm all discombobulated. I did buy the full size, but I already had the small size. So I'm using the small size first and I did not open the large size yet. So I'm just going to dab a little bit on. This isn't a very intense highlight at all, which I like sometimes if I don't want to wear a crazy highlight, then I'll go with this. It is still a very nice shade, but when I'm at tanner, it doesn't show up as much. So like right now, it's not showing up as much. It's not super intense, like I said, but you can still see it and it's really pretty. It's still subtle. Just gives that slight glow to the cheeks. So then I'm going to set almost the rest of my face I'm not going to set this area because I did just put those cream products on, but I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm probably going to set all of my forehead, but we'll see. The reason I don't like how this powder is, is that even when you tap it, it like does not come out at all. Like look at my brush, there's like not anything on it. So it gets kind of frustrating. I might just take that whole thing off, but. <laughs> For now, I'm leaving it because I don't feel like dealing with that. So I pretty much set everywhere but like my apples of my cheeks and the tops of my cheekbones. And I think it did blur it nicely, but you can still see my pores. So it does not blur completely, but I think it leaves a really nice finish to the skin. It is pretty natural, which I like. I don't like when anything looks cakey or too much. So I like how everything is looking right now and that subtle highlight is just perfect. So then I'm going to do my brows and I have a brow pen. This is the Kush Triple Brow Pen and I have the shade Herb and I do not think it's dark enough, but it is one of these with the little like three prong tip to it. So we will see how this worked. I kind of tried it out once but I don't think I did it correctly, so let's kind of try this again and try not get stuff all over my shirt. I've never used a product like this either, so bear with me here. Yeah, 
this. So this is a little bit too light for me, but it is still adding some sort of color. I don't think it's as defined as I would like it to be for a product like this, but it might also be because it's not dark enough. So it might just look weird. So yeah, I'm not, not a huge fan of this. So a little bit of a bust, but I'm going to kind of fill in the other eye and then we will be right back. This is definitely not dark enough at all. You can see the color difference between my actual brow and this, which is kind of misleading because the cap or the packaging on this, the color looked a lot darker than what this actually is. So maybe I'll pick up another one, but it's not something that I love so much. So maybe I won't. I do have the brow gel though, so we're going to test that out. This is the clear brow gel, so it just comes in this tube and has one of the baby spoolies on the end. So we're just going to set my brows with that. And I've said before, I don't like bushy brows at all. I just think they look ridiculous on me. So my brows right now are a little bit crazy. So don't mind that. I should get them done again. I really like this product actually. The spoolie is pretty hard, which I like for brow products because you can really kind of move the brow hairs with it. It's not like too soft that it's not really doing anything. Okay, so I like this product, but my brows look a hot mess because of that pencil. So we're just going to have to deal with that. <laughs> so I do not have eyeshadow or any eye products from Milk Makeup. So I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette, which I did get from TJ Maxx and I've not used this yet. I do want to do a look with this palette, so I'm not going to be doing anything crazy today because I do want to use it in another video. So I love this palette, it's so pretty. But in this video, I just wanna do something simple, like I said. So I'm just going to take a couple of the browns and then one shimmer shade to throw on the lid and then that's all I'm gonna do. There we go. Then we're going to go in with mascara and I have the Kush mascara and this is the small version, which I've had for a while. I have a couple other backups too, but this is also floating around TJ Maxx. So if you do see it, snatch it up. They do have the waterproof version, which I do not have. I don't really wear waterproof mascara at all. So I was not going to purchase that, but I already have this one in my collection. So we are using that. this mascara it's very soft it's not super intense it's pretty natural and everyday which I like I think this tube is almost dry so this is flaking a little bit more than normal and I've been getting mascara on my eyelids like every time I put mascara on these days I don't know what is going on but it is what it is so we're going to set the face using the new hydro grip set and refresh spray and this i got from sephora so this i love this mist on this but i haven't really tested it out per se but i love how it feels on the skin so i love that it feels so good it completely sets the skin and my skin actually looks pretty good right now. <laughs> you can still see my pores, like I said, and it's definitely not covering everything. Again, like you can see spots around my face, but I think it's looking more natural. And I've said, I love that. So, so far so good. Last, we are going in with a lipstick and I do have one lipstick from Milk Makeup and this is in the shade Deuces. And this is the shade. I thought it was a perfect shade for fall. And we're going to line the lips with an R-A-B, K-A-B, R-A-B, thinking Harry Potter. 
KB. And this I got from a boxy charm, I think. So I'm just going to align my lips real quick and then we will get in with the lipstick. I love that color and that formula is so smooth it feels like I just have a balm on my lips and not lipstick I'm terrible at lining my lips I've talked about that a million times my lips are so small so they just look a little odd <laughs> but I love the shade I think the formula is great it looks really nice on the lips I like it so those are all the products we are using today. Almost all milk makeup products. The eyeshadow palette was cheating, but I got it from TJ Maxx. So there you go. But I love doing this type of video. Let me know if you want me doing any more videos like this or what other videos you have in mind. I am probably going to, to do another TJ Maxx full face and that is not gonna be all one brand. It's just gonna be all products that I have purchased from TJ Maxx. So that is definitely coming, but let me know. If you have any other ideas of videos that you would like me to do, let me know in the comments down below. And I will keep you updated in the description box for the new products to see whether I like them or not or how they were throughout the day. So check that out for all of my thoughts, but that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.